How to get circumcised. Circumcision is the surgical removal of foreskin on the penis. It is most often performed for reasons of health and hygiene, as well as for other religious or ritual reasons. If you're interested in getting circumcised, read on for a description of the benefits and risks, as well as a plan for recovery. Understanding Circumcision Understand what circumcision is. If you decide to get circumcised, a physician will perform a short, relatively simple surgical procedure that will remove part of the foreskin of your penis permanently. After a period of recovery, your penis will heal normally, but without the retractable foreskin. Generally, circumcision is performed on infant babies, but it's also performed on consenting adults, for medical, hygienic, religious, or cosmetic purposes. Circumcision is also recommended for urinary flow issues like retention or recurring yeast infections in the penis, as it can help prevent further infections. Circumcision does not help prevent any sexually transmitted infections. You should only get circumcised by a licensed physician or a mohel with a good record and experience. Under no circumstances should you ever attempt to circumcise yourself, as one small mistake can be dangerous. Learn about the procedure. If you decide to go forward with circumcision, you should talk to your doctor about the procedure and set up a consultation. It is generally advisable to have a circumcision as a child, since recovery is much quicker, though adults can also get circumcised. The procedure consists of the following steps. Your genitals will be cleaned and prepped for surgery, and you will be anesthetized using a dorsal nerve blocker. One. A cut will be made in the foreskin on the upper side of the penis using scissors, while a second slit will be made on the underside of the penis, cutting away the foreskin around the rim of the ridge under the glands. The edges of the foreskin will be pulled back and the blood vessels will be tied off using stitches or diathermy, which involves using electrical currents to essentially cauterize the ends of the vessels. Finally, the penis will be bandaged tightly to aid in the recovery period. If you're an adult, the edges of the foreskin may be stitched together, too. Understand the benefits. Most adults tend to get circumcised to prevent pain due to tight foreskin, to treat infections, and to combat yeast. Some adults also get circumcised for hygienic reasons or because of religious beliefs. Others get circumcised because they believe that an uncircumcised penis is more sexually attractive than a circumcised one. Circumcision does not affect your chance of getting an STI. Make sure you practice safe sex and always use a condom. In less common cases, circumcision is also performed to correct phimosis, or constricted foreskin, acute inflammation of the glands as a result of balanitis, or paraphimosis, which involves a restricted foreskin. 3. Understand the risks. Essentially, a circumcision involves the willful cutting of your genitals, removing the most sensitive front tip of the foreskin of the penis. As with any elective surgery, there are possible complications. Typically done on infants, circumcision for adults carries with it a significant and uncomfortable period of recovery. As an adult, circumcision is a personal, medical choice. Whatever you choose, make sure you weigh the benefits and risks and decide what is right for you. Check out the hospitals or clinics in your area. If you prefer a private consultation, seek advice from your local physician. Contact a hospital and ask to speak with a urologist to get a second opinion on the potential benefits and risks, and to get a description of the procedure and the recovery. For a teenager or an adult, circumcision is typically performed under anesthetic and takes about two weeks for recovery. Some hospitals will not perform circumcisions on adults unless there is a medical reason. If you're committed to getting circumcised, be prepared to shop around for a place to get the procedure done. Prepare for the procedure. Make sure you've got some time set aside for recovery, which can take up to two weeks. If you're getting circumcised for religious reasons, use the time leading up to the procedure to complete any rituals associated with it. Consult members of your religious community for advice and guidance. <laughs>